Enjoying secrets of a sugar daddy? How about a little something extra? Here's today's dose of extra sugar with Marcus. Hey, this is Marcus, and welcome to this segment of Extra Sugar. All right, today's going to be a lot of fun because it's going to be different than any extra sugar I've ever done. So we interviewed Rachel Yucatel from the podcast Misunderstood. She launched it earlier this year and is fantastic, so check it out. And her producer Kelly joined us, and we had such a fun conversation about all kinds of subjects, sugar dating, politics, and so much more. And you're going to really enjoy this. It might be my new favorite episode. But what happened was, when the show was over, we forgot to push end on the record button. So we chatted for another six, seven, eight minutes. And as I listened to that, we got a lot of good stuff on there. And so I just wanted to share a little after show chit chat with you guys in preparation for this very, very fun episode coming up on Tuesday, episode 103. So here it is. Enjoy. It's a dose of extra sugar with Marcus. Brought to you by SecretsOfASugarDaddy.com. All right, Lily, thanks for joining me. Of course. It Ke- was great. Kelly and Rachel, we'll talk soon. Thank you. All Thank right. you, you guys. All right, bye-bye. Okay, bye. It is Kelly's getting, or no, I'm sorry, it is getting married at Misunderstood Podcast. I tell you what, we'll put a link. I said that at the end. Yeah, yeah we'll I put a that. link to it in at the bottom of our show. you guys edit? Yeah, yeah, we, we do. Edit. Yeah. All, oh, okay. The, I'm the editor. We clean all this okay. up. Okay. Okay, great. <laughs> all right, yeah. Rachel. Good and luck I'm in your uh, podcast. Oh, good. Thanks. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. I'll um, fix it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, thanks, you girls guys. are stunning and well spoken oh, and very impressive. It was fun. That Thank was you. When good. when Thank do your you. episodes come out? Do you Oh, wait a this will be weeks? out in a week and a half. So we record today. I've already got Tuesdays. Record. I used to have like three in the bag, but this I took a vacation. This is episode 103. Is it? Yeah. And we're releasing okay. 102. Next week will 102. be 102. The following So about a week Tuesday and a half. will be this one. Yeah. Okay. Right. No, it doesn't Great. matter. I just was curious to get an idea and we'll yeah. um, post a little link or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, guys don't, um, you guys don't do clips, I take it. We do. Um, what, what I do is just take like little tidbits of the show and then I'll post it on my Instagram page. Oh. But, uh, oh, I see. Okay. okay. But maybe we'll try to spice this one up a little bit. <laughs> I know, we, you don't need to. I was no, but I need to. I'm not trying to, to get like, Lily more work. I was just no, asking. she needs. <laughs> I pay her. <laughs> I'm too busy dating Sorry, to work. Lily. She is busy oh, my dating. goodness. Oh, okay. We're going to go that sign up for of, That is part of work because it is. you have to relay your stories. It's on like your a full time job. I know. Kelly, you found that out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is a full-time job. I don't yeah. have time for that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Rachel, you've been helping her, though, kind of yeah. monitor. Yeah. No, it, but it's still, yeah, She it's, it is a, a full-time job for her to make the time because she doesn't live in an easy city. It's not like she could just go to the bar that night to check them out to make yes. sure she has chemistry. I keep telling her she has to meet them first to agree if there's chemistry and then yeah, if there's I chemistry, know. the whole, everything becomes really easy. Yeah. But if she has to go on a trip on a plane to go yeah. meet the chemistry, it's like, a whole. well, yeah, here's so. the problem. I started out exactly like Kelly. I lived in a small yeah. rural Arizona town, three hours from Phoenix, two hours Whoa. from Tucson. So if I wanted to meet somebody in person, I had to drive. Cause I surely wasn't bringing these randoms no. to no. my small hometown where Ten- I t- I didn't need a bunch of randoms in town going out on dates. And so I got to the point where I would really try to get them to FaceTime with me or some kind of video chat um, before I would make that drive to meet them face to face. But. And then you were driving so far, then would you be staying with them that night? Um, Yeah. I had a girlfriend who lived in Phoenix, so I would stay with her unless I was really comfortable and really connected with the guy and I wanted to do an overnight. So, but how many times Lily did you FaceTime somebody? You got a good vibe. And then when you show up, it's just completely different. Yeah. In person. And the FaceTime thing is a little hard because you know, it is just like your upper body. And sometimes you're like, Oh, that guy's shorter than me. Is that even possible? <laughs> Cause I'm only five, three <laughs> or, you know, they, yeah. they, you meet them and they're very portly or, 
you know, yeah. FaceTime in particular kind of filters and makes you a little more glamorous and yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm kind of like you ladies. For me, it's more about personality than it is necessarily about looks, but I'm not really attracted to very heavy set men and yeah. we're, it, or men shorter than me. I don't know. Those yeah. are just two things that don't attract that's me. That's universal. I think that's universal yeah. with women. Women like a little taller man. Yeah. Um, Rachel and I like dad bods though, for sure. Yeah. Oh, I've been yeah. sucking in my gut this whole time. Now I can let it out. <laughs> yeah, we're like oh, they're goodness. real men, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Too good looking. It's yeah. just I don't know. I think it's yeah. nope. They have yeah. Other too good looking is almost like I don't yeah. want someone yeah. like that pretty. And yeah, I think men are also intimidated by very good looking women. They would rather have the the girl next door, the seven or, or eight. Matter of fact, Kelly. Oddly enough, you look a lot like Amy. Does not she not look like Amy? The, um, yeah. Our my I, original co-host yeah, I can from see that. Iowa, okay. yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. she's from Iowa. Must be an Iowa thing. Yeah, it must be. Corn you guys are having. Yeah. yeah, all the corn, all the corn. <laughs> <laughs> Just the fresh girl next door look. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. That's it. Yep. Okay, uh, guys. Thank you so much. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It was we'll talk wonderful. soon. You bet. Okay. Thank bye. you. Bye bye. Wait, one question. You said you guys were. You said that you had an alias for this. Is your name not Marcus? No, my name. My name's not Lily. Her name's. Yeah. Because uh, I saw your email. You, you knew because yes. I gave you I my like, email. Yeah. Um, no, I see. I'm a, I'm a real estate broker in town. My number, like yours, if they Google your my number, it comes up. So I have a secondary number like for through Google voice. And that's where I u use for all my dating purposes until I get comfortable with them. And then I give them my real number, but right. I'm so easy to find even in this huge town. I'm kind of easy to find too, yeah. just because of my career. So I try you guys to don't be. think that people listen to the podcast and recognize your voice. You know what? I sure hope not. I feel <laughs> like my voice is very distinctive and I've shared too many, too many so real facts about my background. Yeah. I, the only thing I haven't mentioned is that I was a. But Amy, oh good, yeah. Amy, our original co-host, mm -hmm. her sugar daddy is a religious listener to the show, and he called her up and he goes, "You got to listen to this show." He goes, "It's on. It's so good." And there's a girl on there. She's like, "You're double like." I, I it's just unbelievable how much she's like you. And she's, she's your voice doppelganger. And she, she's she's like oh. that is me. And he's like, no oh, way. Wow. And he did not believe it was her. Yeah, and then he became funny. like enamored with her because he he thought she was a podcast star. And we you talked like, about that on an episode, I yeah, think, didn't yeah. you? I uh -huh. remember that. When yeah, we were it was early Rachel. on. Yeah, it was really but funny. We were we were swimming in my pool, laying on the rafts in my pool, listening to your podcast. So we listened multiple to episodes. Now, yes. did you start we, from the beginning or just kind of skip around? No, you have so we many. Just skipped so. around. I know because the beginning is so bad. <laughs> I mean, I, I've never done anything like this and we were a little nervous and we didn't really flow well, but it's, it's, it's evolved over time. And now people are so invested in the lives of Lily and Vivian and Kevin and Amy and all yeah. of my, and Kimmy, especially Kimmy, she gets a ton of attention. Uh, Crazy Kimmy. Guys have literally paid her a thousand dollars just to have lunch with her, just be uh, hearing her oh, on wow. the show. And she's super nice. Me, find me someone. <laughs> you got to move to a big city, though. It's hard. I it's know. hard in the small town. Well, I travel all the time. So, yeah. 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 The fact that you're willing to travel, that's that's a positive because there are a lot of men who have offered me to fly me places. And mm -hmm. so that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. We keep <laughs> trying to end and I, I've got work okay. to do. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> all right. No, it's been Thank great. You. It's been great. I love Bye. it. Thanks. Okay. Nice to meet you guys. Bye -bye. Uh -huh. Bye. Bye. Same. All right. Hope you enjoyed that segment of Extra Sugar. And like I said, don't forget to catch that episode on Tuesday, episode 103 of Secrets of a Sugar Daddy. And hey, come party with us. Go to our website, press the button, come party with us, and you'll find out all the details how you can join the cast and crew of Secrets of a Sugar Daddy and a really fun weekend right after Thanksgiving. And let me tell you right now, those who enter early get priority. So don't wait. Even though we have about three and a half months left, don't wait. Get your entry in now. And as always, share your crazy sugar dating stories, questions, or comments on our website or follow us on Instagram. And you can direct message 
myself and Lily. We get those very quickly, and we appreciate any questions or comments or any feedback. All right, until next time, bye-bye. We hope you enjoyed your extra sugar with Marcus. As always, visit our website, secretsofasugardaddy.com to comment or tell us your story. 